is that at this hour? Yeah, who is it? Has the monkey overslept? Time to get up. Uh, give me a break already. What do you want? General Dynas wants to see you immediately. This early in the morning? Just get ready and come to the castle, all right? Yeah, okay. No dilly-dallying along the way, got it? Whatever. The stuck-up know-it-all. Alright, you snooty geek! You wanna fight? You're a real-life spark in the morning, aren't you? Huh? Ah! It's you! The funny money weezer! What's that? Don't play dumb! That money you gave me was no good! It had your face on it! I... I made sure it was my good side. You didn't like it. Of course not! Look! Real money has a picture of the king on it, understand? If he's not on there, it's not real money, see? He's kind of a wimp. Mine looks better. That's not the point! <sighs> what do you want anyway? Don't you know how early it is? Of course! Anyway, I finally found out where a Phelion is hiding. Is that right? Great! Nice knowing you! You see, a Phelion is in the castle! Uh, the castle? I went to the castle myself, but the guards were there! And they wouldn't let me in. And I suppose you figure I can help you get in. Oh, don't worry. I'll pay for your help, of course. And this time, I'll pay with real money. With the king on it and everything. I promise. Yeah, I bet. Still, I guess I am going to the castle anyway. But I have a feeling that taking you along with me would be nothing but trouble. Oh, no. I won't be any trouble at all. Please! Ew! Stop that! That's creepy! Please! Okay, okay! Just stop doing that, alright? I knew it! That always works like a charm! Uh, where did you learn how to do that, anyway? Alrighty then! Let's be going to the castle! What do we do now? Good question. Hey, you two, what are you up to over there? Uh-oh, let me do the talking, okay? Uh, General Dynas asked me to come and see him. The General? Hold it. Who are you? What's your name? Well, I was in the Rose Cochon Brigade for a while. My name's Jack Russell. Jack? Uh, Jack... The Dragon Slayer? Our apologies, sir. Please, go straight in. Uh, thanks. If I may say so, sir, you look like a real Dragon Slayer. And your friend kind of stands out, too. Well, that was easy, huh? Yes, indeed. I knew it was a good idea to come to you. Oh, yes. Aphelion's here, all right. I can smell him. Smell him? Can you really tell? Absolutely. No doubt about it, lad. Me nose has never let me down yet. I'll be fine now. You have business of your own, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Well, anyway, a promise is a promise. Whoa, all this? Thank you, lad. I knew it.
Hi. Come in. Thank you for coming. Sure. I'll get straight to the point. I need your help. My help? As you know, Fort Alencia is now under the control of the non-human forces. We are currently preparing an attack force to retake the fort. This is where you come in. I want you to lead a brigade during the attack. Me? A captain? No way! We don't have much time. I need an immediate answer. I don't know. Do you doubt yourself? No, it's not that. It's just... What about Ridley? What happens to her? Hmm? Hmm. Is Ridley a target too? Will we have to fight her as well? I mean, Ridley's innocent. She's just been fooled by Gawain. Well, look at it this way. When we liberate Fort Alencia, we'll be able to bring Ridley back home to safety. Yeah, okay. So you'll help me? Well, I do still have to get my revenge against Gawain. Good, then it's settled. Uh, but I'm not a knight anymore. I got fired, remember? Don't worry about that. We'll be happy to have you back. Huh? Jack the Dragon Slayer has become a famous name around these parts. I don't think there's anyone who would object if you rejoined the Knights. Right. What's wrong? I thought you'd be pleased. Look, I'm really honored and everything, but I'm in Van Cor now. I've got friends there. I can't just say see ya and go back to the Knights, you know? It just wouldn't be fair to all of them. I see. Very well. You shall lead a unit of your own choosing into the battle. Huh? What do you mean? You shall be a knight, and you can select anyone you like to join your squad. Huh? Really? You have my permission as general. No one could possibly object. And besides, Lord Larks is in complete agreement. Lord Larks? The fact is, Lord Larks thinks very highly of you, Jack. He does? But why would he care about me? He has great expectations for you. I understand exactly how he feels. Wow. <laughs> but why? Why did this happen? Is this true? Ridley has joined the fairy creatures? General Dinah saw her with his own eyes. Utter nonsense! We will, therefore, have to ask you to stay in your quarters for the duration. Stay in my quarters? Are you arresting me? I'm the Lord Chamberlain! But people wouldn't understand if we allowed the father of a traitor to continue serving in government. <laughs> Ridley, <laughs> why? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> Oh, here you are, Aphelion. What are you up to, hanging around the castle? Not preparing for the changeover? Haven't the dragons killed? What's your game? Each time humanity builds a culture of value, the dragons come roaring in to tear it down. A thousand-year-old city is wiped out in a single night. Why is that? 
The arrogance and anger of humans will destroy the world. You know that. Sometimes the Silver Dragon and Gold Dragon have to change places as the guardians of the world. The changeover is needed, as you know, to reset the world so it can start afresh. And of course, when that happens, all of humanity has to be exterminated. It is a shame for sure, but it has to be done to preserve the old Toad House. But why must the humans perish? Hmm? Dragons don't die. Even should they be struck down, their death is nothing but a short sleep. They soon start afresh in a new vessel. And the elves are immortal too. Even when their bodies die, the transpiration allows them to live on. Hmm. It is a bitter world. There is no justice. Humanity's lot is a cruel one. Far too cruel. Aphelion, you're not making any sense. What's got into you? Each human life is a fragile thing. It lasts a few fleeting years and ends before it really begins. But slowly, over time, these creatures have built a beautiful civilization. Only to see it toppled by the immortal elves and dragons. Why? If the humans were left to destroy the world, there'd be nothing left of it at all. How can anyone know that? They've never been given the chance. They've never been allowed a future. Time and again, humans build their tower, only to see it destroyed by dragons before it is complete. You're talking madness. I have nothing else to say to you. You have your duty, Aphelion. I reckon you best do it. I can do it, Dad. You'll see. Everything's quiet around the rear gate. Very good, soldier. Please continue your surveillance. Sir. You know, it's been three days now. I'm starting to wonder, do you think Lady Ridley is really in there? General Dynas said that this is where he saw her. You're not accusing the General of lying, are you? No, that's not what I meant. Lady Ridley is here, I'm sure, and we're going to find her and bring her back home. And when we do, they'll have to release Lord Jasmine from house arrest. Oh, imagine poor Lord Jasmine placed under lock and key in his own house. It's horrible. Oh, boy. Yeah... Who is it? Orders for Captain Jack of the Fort Helensi Assault Force. Oh, man. This guy again? Orders from General Dynas, sir. At midday tomorrow, you are to assemble your troops. You will then link up with the Noir Mouton Brigade and march on Fort Helensia. Tomorrow? Boy, they don't waste any time. The rendezvous will take place next to Faucon Gate. Best of luck, Sir Jack. Sir Jack? Hey, did you eat something funny this morning? Not at all. Sir Jack is now a captain in the assault force. Ah, so it's like I'm a knight again, huh? But listen, this just doesn't feel right. Can we drop the polite sir stuff? Really? As you wish. <clears throat> See if you can get there on time without poking your eye out with your own sword. Okay, monkey brain? Man, he really is annoying. But anyway, I'd better get moving. I've got to get ready for tomorrow. Oh, man! I can't believe I was... 
slapped again. I sure hope the general hasn't slept already. I've got to hurry. What the? You're late. Where have you been? A dragon? Of course it's a dragon. It's the fire dragon. It ambushed us. Our army is being slaughtered. Oh, no. <laughs> you just stay back and watch, Jack. I'll kill this monster. Prepare yourself, dragon. You're about to die at the hand of Crossward. Cross, stay back! The general's death is most unfortunate. However, the dragon came here to attack Radiata itself. The danger to the kingdom is growing. Another attack could come at any moment. We have to kill that dragon! Order an attack immediately! But we do not know where the dragon has fled. We cannot commit forces until we know. When injured, the fire dragon goes to Fire Mountain to heal. At least... That's what I have read. Yes, of course. The beast flew south. Lord Locks, permission for me and my brigade to pursue it. Very well. Cross, Jack, I want you to take your units south to Fire Mountain and find that dragon. Sir, the Noir Mouton can handle this on its own. I shall slay the fire dragon myself. Cross, the dragon has thrown the people into a panic. We must be absolutely certain that the threat is destroyed before full-scale rioting breaks out. I want you to work together and make sure the dragon is killed. Do I make myself clear? Sir! Sir! What is that? It's a... Uh... Good luck, Charm. Please take it. Lord Lucian is far too kind. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I have to prepare my troops for our immediate departure. If you will excuse me, gentlemen. I guess I'd better get going, too. With General Dynas gone, those two are our last hope. If they fall too, I fear that humanity will lose the will to fight the dragon. Lord Lucian, can they succeed? Sir Jack Russell, are you heading out too? Yeah, I guess. Did Cross leave already? Yes, sir. He passed by earlier at the head of his brigade. Okay, thanks. That guy sure means business. But Fire Mountain is an awful place, sir. You know about Fire Mountain? My family's from down south. We always heard rumors about Fire Mountain and Jack. You know, monsters and other creatures, but we never thought there was a dragon there. Hmm. Huh. Hey, I'd better get going. I can't be late for the fight. Good luck!
on these rocks. I'd better find this fire dragon before I get toasted.
Wow. These are some seriously huge doors. Okay, let's do it. Funny money, Weezer! What are you doing here? So it's you who came, is it? Huh? A Philion asked me, why must humans be the ones to die? I've been thinking, maybe it's because that's the fate humans choose for themselves. Just as you have today. Huh? What are you talking about, old man? You're getting kind of preachy. Ha 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 ha! Indeed I am. Frankly, I don't like talking about this stuff either. But understand this, lad, and make no mistake. I will do my duty! Whoa! Old man?
third floor below ground. Anything could be living down here. Huh? What was that? I heard something. Hello? Is anybody in there? Understand. Why? Why can't a genius like me understand? Hey! Genius! Genius! Hello? Huh? Yeah! Huh! What is it? <laughs> so it's you! You're the one behind all the ghost and white croc stories! What are you talking about? I've been down here conducting some very important research. Research? What the heck are you researching down here in the sewers? It's... it's a secret. A secret, huh? I knew it! I knew you were up to no good! No! No, I'm telling you the truth! Oh, all right, I'll show you then. Really? Geniuses don't lie. Okay, start by opening that wallet you just came out of. <sighs> Fine. Wow! What is this place? Did you eat all these? Of course I didn't. These frescoes were created a long, long time ago. Like how long? Well, I can't say with any certainty. Several centuries at the very least. Several centuries? Yes, the builders of this city created these paintings long before our time. I don't know much about history. But they sure do look old. I've been investigating these frescoes. I'm hoping to find some kind of clue. A clue to what? A clue that will help me discover a way for humans and fairy creatures to live together. Humans and fairy creatures? <sighs> Why are you staring at me like that? You're giving me the creeps. You really do spend your time thinking about the craziest stuff, huh? Well, of course. I'm a genius. Anyway, tell me, what do you think of when you see these paintings? Huh? I don't know. Beats me. <sighs> I don't know why I bothered to ask you. Fine, I'll try to explain it. All right. Do you see the first one over there? What does it depict? Uh, maybe the sun and the moon? Yes, exactly. The sun represents day and the moon represents night. Together, they show the cycle of time in this world of ours, a world that in old times was called Tataks. To be precise, this represents the cosmic order of the world. As for the second one... Okay, this one I don't get. Some kind of abstract thing? You see the four colors of the painting? They symbolize four dragons. The dragons of Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire. Now note the two eyes. They represent the ultimate dragons. Few people have ever heard of them. Ultimate dragons? Yes, the twin dragons. Far more powerful than the other. One is the gold dragon, the other is the silver dragon. 
The dragons stand guard over the tower and the forest. The tower stands for knowledge, the forest for harmony. Okay. By the way, uh, this picture shows the gold dragon and the silver dragon together in the same scene. But in reality, when one of the twin dragons is awake, the other is asleep. That's why the people of ancient times called the gold dragon the dragon of the sun and the silver dragon the dragon of the moon. It's possible that the sun and moon in the other painting also represent these dragons. Now I get it! Really? You understand all this? Anyway, the last picture is the problematic one. What is it? This is the death of humanity. The painting depicts the end of the world. The end? In the depths of the blackest night, the silver dragon descends to slay all humans. Whenever night changes to day, or day changes to night, everyone must be destroyed. This picture depicts the extermination of humankind by the Twin Dragons. The extermination of everyone? You're joking, right? Why would they want to kill everyone? This isn't about living with the fairy creatures, only dying! Mustn't tell anybody else about this. If word ever got out. Right. According to my interpretation of this third image, for some reason, when the cosmic order becomes unbalanced, the silver and gold dragons change places. In other words, the entire world is reset. The dragons are the guardians of the cosmic order. What? How did you know that? Where did you hear such a thing? At a meeting with the bigwigs at the castle. It was something this guy Lucian said. He said the dragons are the guardians. That's impossible. Where did he get his information? He said he read it in some old books or something. Ridiculous! Impossible! I have read every single document preserved in the castle library. I'm telling you, if those documents were your only source, there is no way you can learn that the dragons are the guardians. Seriously? It took me years of the most painstaking research to discover the fact. What? Wait. Of course. The best thing. Yes, it makes sense. It's a duty that only a human can fulfill. So why does he kill the dragons? Hey, what the heck are you talking about? Could it be that this is the time of the imbalance? Yes, but the spread of Alkandar's too. Yes, yes, it all makes sense. Genius? Jack? It may already be too late for humankind. Huh? But I will try to do whatever is in my power. Uh, okay. I don't really get it, but good luck to you anyway. Thank you. Well, I guess genius isn't just your regular fruitcake.
I'm home! Not that there's anyone here. Huh? A letter? What's this doing here? Who's it from? Hey, it's from the captain! Man, I haven't heard from him in ages! My friend Jack, I hope this finds you well. I trust, I trust you, remember. you remember your own Captain Katz. Much has changed for me since we last met. I'm now working for the Void Guild. I've been able to find a place for myself here, thanks to my colleagues, Ms. Winker and Miss Flower. It's taking some time, but I'm starting to learn the ropes. Although the work isn't always easy. It's nothing like our old life in the nights, but I'm doing my best. Life goes on, as they say. the opportunity to think back on the times we spent together in the brigade. Jack, there was something I always wanted to discuss with you, but could never bring myself to mention. I've long wanted to talk to you about our fathers. As I'm sure you remember, my father vanished some 16 years ago. He left immediately after your father died. At that time, I hated my father for what he'd done, for the shame that he brought upon us. He simply disappeared from our lives, leaving my mother and me alone. But now, somehow, I think I'm finally starting to understand what my father was feeling at the time. Humans are strange creatures, aren't they, Jack? We have such a short time to live our lives. But in our brief lifetimes, we still find the time to fall in love with one another. On the other hand, perhaps it is precisely because our time in this world is so short that we are able to love other people so completely and with such astounding conviction. My father was no different, I think. He possessed the same human heart that we all do. I believe that, in spite of everything, my father did love me, as any father loves his child. Jack, my friend, I will be leaving Radiata soon. I have a very long journey ahead of me. I don't think we will meet again for quite some time. But if you ever find the man who killed your father, I hope that you will fight him with all your courage and strength. Even if, even if that man should be called Gawain Rothschild. Jack, as your friend, I pray that you will succeed one day and that your father will finally be avenged. Until we meet again. Your faithful servant, Gantz Rothschild. <sighs> the captain's tougher than he looks. Hey, Lady Natalie. 
How long are we going to just sit here keeping watch? Leonard, how many times are you going to ask me the same question? Well, let's see. That was the 24th. If you know, stop asking already. We're not leaving this spot until we've found Lady Ridley and taken her home, got it? I'd like to rescue her too. But if she never comes out, there's not a lot we can do just sitting out here. I said we wait. This is stupid. Let's just sneak into the fort, okay? I don't think I can sit out here for too much longer. What? Ball, what have you done to her? Oh, how tiresome. Humans again. Go away. We have no time to waste on dolts like you. Listen, Elf, hand Ridley over now. You can leave this to me. You go on ahead. Very well. Thank you, Gawain. D did he say Gawain? You're Gawain? That's right. Sir Gwen, if you please. I don't get it. If you want Ridley, you're going to have to go through me first. Shut up, you turncoat! You double-crossing swine! You'll pay at the point of my sword! Leonard, back me up! Right, boss. Don't worry, your wounds aren't fatal. I don't think you'll be able to move for a while.